What up, people? Kelly Burke, Kirby Fitness. Back here in the lab. This is my lab. Like a musician does music. I print product. So basically, man, I have been printing since, dog, I don't even know the sense, but at least eight to 10 years now. Um, I've, I've been in the business for a total of 15, but I was a subcontractor first. So pretty much what I would do is just sub orders to printers and uh, I go out and find orders from different businesses and bring it back to a printer. He give me a contract rate and then I would make my money like that. Pick up the shirts, take it to the printer, the printer prints it, pick up my product, take it back, deliver it to the customer and make my money through sub orders. The printer would give me such a good rate that I could still make money and mark up the product. Pretty much the same amount that I make now as a printer or more at some cases. Um, and you can do that as well. Anybody can do that. That's how I got into t-shirt printing. So anybody out there that wants to host some t-shirts and start your own t-shirt printing business without printing, you can sell orders through me or your local printer. We'll give you a contract rate and that allows you to be able to make money off of other people's orders. You know, you set up your own business that way. So the reason I got into the printing side is because I didn't want to be a middleman. I wanted to be the owner and that's what everything I do. If I can figure out how to own the business, I want to own the business because I want to hire employees and be able to employ people. So that's my ultimate vision in life, is to start businesses, to hire people, to give people the opportunity to become something more in life. So printers actually make pretty good money too, believe it or not, the average printer makes anywhere from 15 to 25 to $30 an hour. You know what I mean? So if you're a printer and you have experience, you know that you can make some money. It's not an easy job because it's very detailed though. And so to be honest with you, I don't like printing. I'm a fairly decent printer, but I didn't, again, I didn't get into the business to be a printer. I got into the business to be a uh, owner of the business. So I had to learn the business, now I learned it. You know, let's move on past that. We're getting employed. <laughs> so anyways, a um, couple of quick things. This is a six station or a six head, four station manual press. Mm -hmm. So a manual means you do all the work yourself. You have to spin the machine, you have to print the machine, turn the machine, mm -hmm. put it under the flasher. The flasher is a small piece right here, which is uh, where you preheat pre the shirts under, and then it goes from there under the dryer, which puts the image all the way on the shirt. Um, and this is an older dryer. I think it gets over 300 plus degrees. That flasher, I'm not sure what temperature it gets to because it's old. And uh, brings me to another topic. Why is my equipment old? Because it's old, because I bought it used. It works well, I know how to use it, and it gets the job done. Eventually, we're gonna get new equipment, and you know, we'll use this as secondary equipment or sell it. But right now, it's working perfect, and it has been for years. And I'm just the type of guy that I'm gonna maximize it. I'm gonna drive a car until it breaks down. I'm gonna live in something until I can't live there anymore. I'm gonna use something until it doesn't work anymore. My laptops are old, been to tell you that. You know what I mean? And that's just me, man. I'm a very frugal guy very uh, lucrative in my spending and you know that's how I live my life so my dad was like that so that's where I got it from so other than that this is what we do so all the Caribbean pearl I print it and it's all done in-house it's all handcrafted that's why I use that quote handcrafted because I print it myself so that's the handcrafted part um, and uh, yeah man this is it so anybody that wants to get into t-shirt printing I will not say I will teach you because it's very hard to teach somebody but I can give you some pointers and directions and different directions to go the ultimate thing the best thing I think to do is to focus on business ownership and so if you want to own something like starting your clothing line or something like that I think that's the best route to go but if you want to get in t-shirt printing you know I may be able to point you in the right direction so here's the blue stuff on them the blue stuff is called emotion so that's your film it's developing a screen is like developing old school film you go into the dark room which is Right here, we're gonna peek in real quick. Red, non-exposure light. This is my light box right here. And then pretty much what I have in there, this is all homemade, old school, which most um, up-to-date printers have, they buy one and it's faster than this. So it takes me like three minutes to burn a screen. Put it on here, the lights come on. You cover it up with the blackness, which I use this sheet. Cover it up with this cover, put the weights on top of it, let it burn for three minutes. I take it on, pull the image off, which these are the images. That's how they look, that's what the artwork tray does. From there, you take it right here, put it in your wash booth, wash the screen out, kind of wipe your hands on it a little bit, develop it out, and then your image comes out. So the, the light helps it come out, let it sit till it dries, and you're ready to print. But anyways, that's about it, man. Finish printing the product for you guys, well, for Vince and us, and then uh, we'll have it out for you guys. And uh, so Thanks for watching the video, man. Hopefully you learned something today about t-shirt printing from Kelly Burke. And uh, shop my tees, CaribbeanApparelShop.com. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, blah.